When you answer, you can face the camera. Okay. That's the camera. Okay, okay now, Johnny. Okay. Okay, Michelle, Christelle, are you the last uh, two standing? Oh, wow. Well, we're standing here right now, but there's so... <laughs> I mean, I guess in a sense, yes, but there's so many beautiful contestants, and I'm just really excited to be here. I agree. I believe that there are many quali more than qualified candidates here today, and I think that we're all excited to start this journey together, so it's really exciting. Okay, we're all kind of surprised that you joined the Super Bowl. Uh, Michelle, why? Well, um, I just... Since I don't have any, my next pageant will be until next year. There's, I have like a long gap, and I, like, I really love fitness, and this is my roots. I joined Miss Gold's gym back in 2019, and I was the breadwinner, and I wanted to trace back. And also, like, I had some health problems in the beginning of the year, so it was kind of like a wake up call with like my career. Like, I want to complete everything I want to do while I'm still young and have like no regrets about it. And this is every other year, uh, so like, I'm gonna sure like it. It's for right now while I still have the opportunity. At this moment, yeah. Okay, Crystal, uh, this is your last year, right? Uh, I, no, not for you. I am not sure, to be honest. Uh, according to the pageant world, which is University of Philippines, it didn't work out for me. And I have recently turned 28, and so there is an age limit. So I decided to grab another opportunity and to take on a different path. And like what Michelle said, I also fell in love with fitness because of pageantry. Yeah. And I think it's um, it's beautiful to inspire others to, you know, to also stay strong and be strong and uh, be mentally and physically fit. Uh, give us your tips on how to be a super model. Well, I've always believed that along with the healthy body comes a healthy mind. So I'm all about balance, uh, where I give myself a break where I need when I need to take a break, but I also love to push myself when I can push myself and make sure that I work out as much as I can. And also, along with that, I make sure that I eat healthy and I also love and enjoy what I'm eating and what I'm nourishing myself. Okay, Michelle, sure. you're nourished. I couldn't agree more. Um, as much as like, yeah, physical fitness is a very important aspect of your life. But it's also about being happy. Like you can't be physically fit and then unhappy on the inside. Because then, what are you, what are you doing with your life, honestly? And like you want to make sure you're inspirational to the others around you. You want to inspire your family and friends, the people that you hang out with. And it's like such an important thing, especially with this brand. Like we're really doing a lot to promote the fitness in the Philippines. Thank you. Uh, last question. How do you feel about the lectures? <laughs> the afternoon. <laughs> still. Wow, what a heavy question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not asking, <laughs> oh, I'm not asking about uh, who, who are you first, but how do you feel about the, the fatigue of, uh, yes, I the mean, of uh, fatigue of uh, yes, most everyone? Yes, I am also a bit overwhelmed with the results, and I feel that a lot of the Filipinos have have felt a bit of this burden and I can I can see and agree why, as to why. However, I believe that though the results came out to how the results came out to me, I believe that um, we also brought hope and inspiration for our fellow Kamalaya. I just want to say that no matter the results of this election, let's spread positivity online. Because I, I, as soon as I go on Facebook, it's all negative, negative, negative. Instead of pulling each other down, let's motivate and like let's hope for the best of our future and our country. Because we have six years with this with the results, and let's, let's be as optimistic as possible. Yes. Good and agreeable. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.